Okay, real quick video, this one. Uh, this is all about chucks and really is mainly of interest I would uh, thought to uh, anyone who's got a Walco WM180 lathe. Now, like many people I would imagine, um, when I first got my lathe, this was the chuck that I used almost uh, all the time. Um, but I'm a big fan of uh, Rob's Zanudu YouTube channel and he is a big champion of using collets. <clears throat> and um, so I do a lot of small round uh, bar and tube stock work on my lathe and obviously collets are ideal for this so after <laughs> watching many of his videos um, and, and this is all your fault Rob um, <clears throat> I very uh, soon became aware that I needed one of these now since getting this and a set of ER32 collets stay, stay in place and a set of ER32 collets. Um, this stays in my lathe more than any other chuck uh, and this has seen an awful lot of use and this was a Banggood, I've got this one from Banggood I think um, and uh, absolutely brilliant bit of kit and you, you really do need to watch Rob's videos about collets because it, you'll be convinced once you've watched those and I, cer I certainly am. These are, these are absolutely brilliant. That was rapidly followed by one of these um, Rob's very recently done a video on uh, uh, collet block, but um, his is uh, uh, very similar to mine, except his is square and uh, mine's hexagonal. Now, obviously this is used mainly off of the lathe and is absolutely, again, superb for holding around stock um, when you want to do any work on it, um, on the drill press or just in a vise. I mean, that is, that is um, excellent. But um, of course, uh, now I'm a confirmed collet uh, aficionado, <laughs> um, Rob did a video on his channel recently on uh, one of these. Now, um, he, 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 the one he did his video on was a game from Banggood and that one is from Banggood, um, but his was a slightly smaller one. Now, I was a bit annoyed because when I went on to Banggood's site initially, they didn't put the critical dimensions, they didn't put the whole pitch uh, in the dimensions and they didn't put the register diameter on the back but they've corrected that and they do now give you those dimensions so after measuring it up I realized that this one would probably fit on my Walco WM180 lathe um, and it really only arrived a few days ago so I'm just now coming to coming to fit it um, as you can see uh, it has um, four clearance holes and three threaded holes and these holes that are threaded are eight mil um, and they happen to line up with the uh, headstock spindle plate on the Walco lathe perfectly. So um, I'll just swap the camera around so you can actually see that. Right now, <clears throat> I've uh, used 30 mil long M8 uh, hex headed bolts to go through the threaded holes in this because I happen to have some in stock. And um, I think you'll find it should line up perfectly there perfect fit um now i haven't used this yet i've literally just fitted it this uh th i did offered it up earlier this is the second time i've actually had it up on the plate um so uh, i intend to i've got a chimney to make for a model steam engine that uh, i'm in the process of uh, doing up so that will be used today anyway i just thought for anyone out there who's watched Rob's videos and was considering getting one of these, if you've got a Walco WM180 lathe, which is what you're looking at here, as you can see, um, the 100mm one from Banggood fits perfectly. Now, I will put a link in the description uh, to the Banggood uh, webpage where you can ha have a look at these. Anyway, like I said, just a quick video uh, for anyone out there who's got one of these lathes and is thinking about getting one of these uh, collet chucks. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Cheers.